Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with my Raspberry Pi 3 and RetroPie 4.0 Beta. I want to show you how to save and load your games. So this is RetroPie 4.0 Beta, but this does work with most of the releases of RetroPie as long as you're above 3.0. And if you're running RetroPie, you probably should be. This method does work with a lot of the emulators built in, and I haven't personally tested it with all of the emulators, but most of the popular emulators this method will work with. I'm going to be showing you how to do it on SNES, but this should be the same for PlayStation, N64, and like I said, most of the other ones. I have a Bluetooth PS3 controller, and my left shoulder button and my right shoulder button are mapped to left shoulder and right shoulder. We're going to start Knights of the Round and we'll get right into the tutorial. So I've started a new game here and I want to save my progress immediately just so I don't have to go through the menu again. Very easy to save within RetroPie. You hold your right shoulder button and press select. In the bottom left hand corner you see save state slot zero. Now we have multiple save states so what I'm going to do is move ahead a bit and I'll save another state for you and then we'll go over loading them. So I want to save another state but I want to keep my initial save. It's very simple to do so. You'll press select on your controller and use your d-pad. As you see we have Save slot 0 is the one we've already saved in. Save slot 1 is a new save slot that we will be able to save in. Hold your right trigger and press select. You have now saved in slot 1. Now you need to be careful not to overwrite your saves, so while you're selecting your save slot, you only press select. So we have a save and save 0 and a save and save 1. I'll move up ahead, we'll save one more time, and then I'll show you how to load it. I'll save here, mine as well. Hold select. Now we are on save slot two. So we have a save in zero, a save in one, and now we're about to save in save slot two. Right shoulder button and press select. So I have three saves. Now that we have three saves saved, you can go through them by holding select. We have a save in save slot zero, a save in save slot one, and a save and save slot 2. So we have three saves all together. I'll show you how to load them. It's very simple. Hold your left shoulder button and select. Now we can go through and select 0, 1, or 2. I want to load my 0 slot, so I'll leave it on 0. Let go of the buttons. Hold my left shoulder button again and press select. We've loaded save slot 0. Same thing, we want to load save slot 1, and now I want to load save slot 2, so I'll hold my left shoulder button, press select, and move my d-pad to save slot 2. We'll let off, hold your left shoulder button, and press select. So that's it, it's really simple, practice a little bit with a game that you're not very far into and you'll get used to it. It's pretty simple. Like I said, try not to overwrite your saves. Now these save slots are saved within the RetroPies SD card under ROMs. So we're using SNES now. If you want to find that save on your SD card, you can go to ROMs, SNES, and it'll be listed there. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any requests on anything you want me to show you with RetroPie, Recall Box, or pretty much anything related to the Raspberry Pi, leave it in the comments below and I will try my hardest to get it made within a few days. Like always, thanks for watching.